Hello there. I'm going to show you today how to access Google Suite. Now, Google Suite contains Google Mail, which we use as a school email system. And Google Suite also contains things like Google Slides, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and importantly for the pupils, Google Classroom. So to sign in, I can just type in Google Sign In. Now, I'd recommend using Google Chrome because obviously it's a Google piece of software and that'll work a little bit better with Google Classroom and so on. If you haven't got Google Chrome, don't worry, it does still work on Internet Explorer and Safari if you've got a Mac. So if I click on Sign In, each pupil in the school has got a unique username that they'll be asked to record at the start of the year and they'll be asked to set their own password. So I'm just going to type in my username. And remember, it's at haverfordwesthigh.co.uk. And then my password. And sign in. Now, as I sign in, I'll be met with the Google Suite um, homepage. But you'll see already pre-selected up in the top corner, you've got this, what's called a waffle. Okay. So a good starting point for all of the pupils is to click on the waffle and to bring up their emails. That way the pupils can see if they've got any uh, emails that have come through in the last couple of days and possibly respond to if need be. Okay, so you can see this is the first time that I've signed into this account, but the pupils will obviously have more than uh, four emails. So if I click on the waffle up in the top corner, you'll see now that I've got access to Google Drive, this is where all of the pupils store their work. Google Classroom, this is the sort of interface uh, that pupils have with their classroom teacher, and this is where work is set and work is submitted. You've got Google Docs, which is similar to Microsoft Word. You've got Google Sheets, which is a spreadsheet software, and you've got Google Slides. Most pupils' work tends to be submitted on either Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. So to access Google Classroom, I click on the Google Classroom button, and then it would take me through to Google Classroom. If you click on one of the following links that follows on from this video, I'll talk you through Google Classroom. 